And this is why I use a safety pan because in going back through I found I missed a speck. Kind of hard to see. I guess my focus is uh, maybe looking at the surface of the water. I don't know if a zoom technique will work any better, but no, not to that point. So I'm just going to snuff or bottle that up. It's not large. It's pretty insignificant. But every little bit that you can capture adds up. And that's the um, reason for using a safety pan even back at camp. You know, it would have been caught in the big tub if I saved that material. But it's easier just to pan it twice, catch anything. And if there are any more little specks in there, I'll repeat the process. <clears throat> Once I find them, you know, I'll go back in and suck up that little speck, add it to the collection. Okay, I am finding some plus 20s. At least one. Trying to give you a clear focus of it. Not big. You know, plus 20 is still pretty fine, but it's a little coarser than the very super fine stuff. So I'll show you that process, just so you can see it in the panning. First, let's go after that little one I just found, if I can keep the crap out of it. And snuff it up. bottle. The bigger stuff is a lot easier to pan. It's easier to see and it's a little bit bigger chunkier piece so it tends to sink to the bottom better than the really fine stuff which can be hard to hard to keep down on the bottom of your pan. This is also magnetic material. I'm starting to see a little gold popping up through it here. And even though the gold is heavy it's so small, there's two pieces right there, that it doesn't go down through these uh, heavy iron pieces to the bottom. So you have to watch as it pops up, not to pan it out. So there's a couple more plus 20s. There. Let's see if I can get them up where you can actually see them. A couple of plus 20s. Go through the whole batch of material. I could just keep going until I got to the end and suck them up, but since I saw them, I'll go get them. Agitate. Pan off the lighter material. Keeping your eye peeled for gold as it starts to come up on the edges or anywhere in the material, the color is unmistakable. No wonder men have sought after it for ages, fought over it, lied, cheated, and stole over it, ruined marriages to go look for it, or girlfriends. It's like a little piece of mercury gold there, yep. That silver, as opposed to the dull color of lead, that's a piece of gold that's got mercury all over it so I'm not going to touch it too much we will suck that up and remove the mercury and voila there'll be a piece of gold that same size and shape more mercury taken out of the river compliments of yours truly the hand of guard dredging that mercury out one gold nugget at a time that, my friends, is why we cannot allow dredging anymore in Oregon, because it's beneficial. But that's another topic for another day. Dredging is uh, not one of the most popular activities, unless you're the one doing it. And it's great, because you know what it's all about. You're finding gold. There's another little piece starting to poke out. You just have to uh, visually see the gold as it starts to appear and separate it. 
unless you're a better panner than I am. See it almost got swept out of the pan. But I have a safety that I could have retrieved it from without having to go through whatever's in this tub at my safety pan. So I can double pan everything. Got him. Actually there were more plus 20s than I expected. It's always nice because the bigger pieces add up in weight faster than the really, really fine stuff. However, if you get enough of any of it, it adds up. See another, there's another one starting to come out. Can you see it? See it right there? That's gold. There it is. Small flake. Pounded flat by the river. A little gold flake that wanted to be a nugget. We'll go get them. Added to the collection. Looks like that's about it. And that's the end of it. Yep. Got our plus 20s. Before after And to wrap up this little 4th of July series on my gold processing, this, uh, what you're looking at right now, is actually my total for the year, which is not a lot. In this pan, um, I'm not going to talk so much about how much it is, you know, the weights, because it's been combined and it's, it's the result of over two weeks now. But this has already been cleaned for... I don't know, maybe 12 hours with nitric acid. It's sitting in nitric acid again to clean it up and, and shine it up and get rid of any impurities that might be in there. And the amount of, of, of sludge and, and gray, almost like clay stuff that came off of it the first time was surprising. So I'm repeating the process to get it cleaner. And this is what I've collected since I cleaned the first batch. It's getting its first nitric acid bath right now. And I'll show you a little bit later on as it starts to create this uh, sediment that's going to clean off of it. You'll notice it gets all gray and murky. And it'll, it'll shine it up, clean it up. I'll be able to get rid of some of the crap that's stuck to it. The amount that I weighed from uh, my two-day average that I just showed you the process of panning and, uh, the, and it showed you before with mercury on it and after when the mercury was removed weighed a total of 4.7 penny weight for the day. And I already weighed it and combined it with this so you'll just have to take my word for it. But that was my two day average for that couple of days. It varies, it goes up or down a little bit. That just happened to be those two days worth in the dredge. So 4.7 penny weight, pretty low on the totem pole on the scale of is it worth doing, but just enough incentive to keep me going at it. You can definitely see the difference in the shine and the, the way it, it definitely shines up the gold a little better. That's after a little nitrate cleaning. This is just beginning the process of nitrate cleaning. Well, the nitric acid has had uh, several hours now to work. 
and this is the batch that had previously been cleaned so there's not a lot of silt coming off of it very little I'll leave it in there for a number of hours still but definitely not the amount of silt that you're gonna see in the other batch not much so it's pretty clean the other batch let's have a look oh yeah you start to see that siltiness coming off the gold that's the crud and the clay or other mineralized whatever the nitric acid is able to dissolve is coming off the gold there'll be a good silty layer there God, look how murky the water is now or rather the nitric acid is now so we'll continue to let that work and as you can see the nitric acid does not affect plastic but it's corrosive to uh, the metals gold being one of the uh, noble metals is not affected by it so it's removing crud and crap from the from the gold make it nice and pretty and clean get rid of any uh, of the excess contaminants that don't need to be there check back on it in a few hours it'll probably be getting dark soon so I may leave them overnight uh, or I may just rinse them out and be and let it be good enough. Well, the nitric acid has uh, been working on cleaning our gold overnight. So that's as clean as it's going to get. it off add it to the tally it's kind of hard to see in this light but there are some sediments that were removed it's definitely cleaner than it was before in water, neutralize the acid. Rinse away the sediment. Nice, clean, shiny yellow gold. And I'll uh, post up the tally of my total gold for the season so far. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to give the channel a thumbs up. It helps me out. And thanks for subscribing.